The Sukhoi Su-30. MKI stands as a testament to India's pursuit of air dominance. This formidable fighter jet has become synonymous with India's air power. It embodies technological prowess and strategic significance. The Su-30 MKI's presence is a beacon of strength. It underscores India's commitment to safeguarding its skies. The Su-30 MKI boasts an impressive combat radius and payload capacity. This makes it a critical asset for long-range missions and strategic deterrence. The aircraft plays a vital role in India's defense strategy. It is a crucial component of India's air superiority doctrine. The Su-30 MKI is more than just a fighter jet. It is a symbol of India's ambition and resolve in a complex geopolitical landscape. The Su-30 MKI is a force to be reckoned with. Its presence alone can shift the balance of power. The aircraft has garnered global attention for its capabilities and combat potential. The Su-30 MKI story is one of innovation, collaboration, and a relentless pursuit of excellence. It showcases India's determination to field a world-class air force. The Su-30 MKI's legacy extends beyond its impressive specifications. It represents India's aspiration to achieve self-reliance in defense technology. This ambition has driven India to collaborate with global partners while fostering indigenous capabilities. The Su-30 MKI program has significantly contributed to the growth of India's domestic aerospace industry. The Su-30 MKI's journey began as a collaborative effort between Russia's Sukhoi Corporation and India's Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, or HAL. This partnership aimed to create a customized variant of the Su-30, tailored specifically for India's operational requirements. The result was the Su-30 MKI, where M stands for modernized, K for Komarchesky, commercial, and I for India. The development of the Su-30 MKI marked a significant milestone in Indo-Russian defense cooperation. This ambitious project involved the transfer of cutting-edge technology and joint production efforts. This collaboration ensured that the Su-30 MKI would be equipped with the latest advancements in avionics, weapon systems, and aerodynamic design. The partnership extended beyond technology transfer. India sought to integrate systems from other countries, including Israel and France, to enhance the aircraft's capabilities further. This multinational approach aimed to create a truly world-class fighter jet. The inclusion of these systems underscored India's strategic autonomy and its ability to leverage global partnerships. The first Su-30 MKIs entered service with the Indian Air Force in the early 2000s, marking the beginning of a new era in India's air power projection. These aircraft quickly became the backbone of the Indian Air Force's fighter fleet, bolstering its capabilities in air superiority, strike, and electronic warfare. The Su-30 MKI's true strength lies in its exceptional blend of aerodynamic performance, advanced avionics, and a versatile weapons payload. These elements combine to create a formidable multi-role fighter capable of dominating the skies. One of the most striking features of the Su-30 MKI is its unparalleled maneuverability, a characteristic attributed to its unique aerodynamic design and thrust vectoring engines. The aircraft's airframe is designed to allow for exceptional agility and high alpha, or angle of attack, capabilities. This means the Su-30 MKI can perform maneuvers that would be impossible for conventional fighter jets, giving it a significant edge in dogfights. This maneuverability is further enhanced by the aircraft's thrust vectoring engines, which allow the pilot to direct the engine's thrust, enabling the aircraft to turn more tightly and at lower speeds. The Su-30 MKI is equipped with a powerful radar system that provides long-range detection and tracking of aerial targets. This allows the aircraft to engage enemy aircraft from a safe distance, giving it a significant tactical advantage. The radar system is integrated with a sophisticated electronic warfare suite that enhances the aircraft's survivability in contested airspace. This suite includes radar warning receivers, 
chaff and flare dispensers, and electronic countermeasures designed to deceive or jam enemy radar and missile systems. Beyond its air-to-air -air capabilities, the Su-30 MKI is a potent strike platform capable of engaging ground targets with precision. The aircraft can carry a vast array of air-to-ground munitions, including guided bombs, missiles, and rockets, making it a versatile asset in various combat scenarios. The Indian Air Force recognizes the need to keep its fleet of Su-30 MKIs at the cutting edge of air combat technology. To that end, a series of modernization programs have been initiated to enhance the aircraft's capabilities and address obsolescence issues. These initiatives aim to ensure that the Su-30 MKI remains a potent force in the decades to come. One of the key areas of focus is upgrading the Su-30 MKI's avionics suite. This includes integrating new generation radar systems, electronic warfare suites, and mission computers to enhance the aircraft's situational awareness, targeting capabilities, and survivability against evolving threats. Another critical aspect of the modernization program is the integration of new weapon systems. This includes incorporating advanced air-to-air -air missiles with extended range and enhanced seeker technology for improved kill probabilities against adversary aircraft. Furthermore, the Indian Air Force is exploring the possibility of integrating the BrahMos supersonic cruise missile onto the Su-30 MKI platform. This would provide the aircraft with a potent standoff strike capability, allowing it to engage high-value targets from a safe distance. These modernization efforts are crucial for maintaining the Su-30 MKI's relevance in an evolving geopolitical landscape. The Su-30 MKI is expected to remain a cornerstone of the Indian Air Force's fighter fleet for the foreseeable future. It will continue to play a pivotal role in safeguarding India's airspace and projecting its air power in the region and beyond.